Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to add a logo to our navigation and instead of the navbar, we will display the navbar. The reason I am not recording video these days is because I was in Melbourne and I thought I can record the video there, but I couldn't. So let's continue our tutorial in this video. Also, this video is sponsored to by MyDark. They are the leading agency in Sydney and they are the backbone of most fashion companies in Sydney, Australia. So let's start continuing our tutorial. So in this video, as I said, we will add logo to our navbar here. If I come to the theme sitting here, we have our theme sitting. These are all the sections. We have header. We have some other sections which are dynamic and you can add more of them. You have theme settings, right? How you can add a uh, setting for user to upload a logo here? There are two ways. Either you will add it in the theme setting, which is going to be a general setting and you will have access to that everywhere. Uh, or you can add it in the header. It is also the same thing. Like header is shared in every page. Like you cannot have a header in some pages. Like every page will have the header. So you can add it in the header. In our theme, by default, it has a header logo. So if you pick a logo from here, let's upload something. I have already picked something, so I don't need to upload. Here is an example here, a rocket. I got it from flaticon.com, which has nice icons. I got it from there, and then if you upload this one, it has these options. And this is a range slider. You can set the size of this image here, the size of the logo, and it will display here. I don't want it to be displayed here. Also, this is the search and everything here. I want to, dis to display this one here instead of the navbar. First of all, I will open to uh, get bootstrap. I will ju just go to get bootstrap and see how they display the logo. And then you will remove this stuff from here. For now, I will save it. These are already here. As I said, I'm going to remove most of the codes from this, from the theme which we generated. So as you can see, theme watch is running and npm run watch is also running. Also, one thing to mention, most of you guys said uh, we are getting an error of cross env not found or something like that when you run npm install. Make sure you install the cross env environment which is an npm package. Once you install it globally in your computer, you will not get any error. Because I have it globally in my computer, I'm not getting any error for that. So just search for cross env, just search the error, you will find out how you can install it globally. So let's continue here. I'll open the section called header, which we did in the previous video, and we included the navbar here. This is the navbar, which is a snippet. And if I check out the snippet called navbar, here it is. This is our bootstrap for navigation, and it works just fine for now. So what I am going to do is I am going to open both of these files, header and navbar. Whatever is above this one, it is extra. So I don't need this because it has a search form and I don't want them to be here. So I will remove everything from there except the sections which we have here. So the, you cannot remove the sections, which is, you can technically remove it if I scroll down because we have now what inside the section, I don't want to remove that one. Also, it should be inside the, the header. So I will come here and remove only this part. And now I will open the header tag so to make sure that we are writing our code semantically also correct. So the header should show that this is a header for our website. If I save it, it will take a few seconds to upload this one. And if you refresh it now, it should remove the top section of your team. It haven't yet. So if you check out your team sitting, yeah, it takes a little while to upload everything now if you refresh it and everything works fine i will remove this skip content later it is in the theme that liquid but for now let's display that image here if i come here this is our navbar and this is a snippet and the setting for that logo is here down there this there to the schema here we already discussed about the schema and how you can add those settings if you don't know about this setting and your theme customizer and how you can Add an image picker. Make sure you watch the previous video, also the range slider. So this is the image. If someone select this one, you will have a field ID of the logo here. You can access it using the, the section settings.logo. So how you can access it? If you are in the same section called header.liquid, you can easily access it using this 
keyword like sections dot settings dot logo which differ to the ID of that one okay you have access to this one but for us it is another and it is not here it is on another file if you come to this file and write the same line of code that you wrote here this one it should work the same way whenever you include any snippet to a section this snippet will take all the parents features for example this setting will be accessible to this snippet because this snippet is inside your section and you can access all those settings inside your snippet so since this is in a snippet folder you can add the image here just write down like this and it will display the URL of that as you know so this is not what we want so I will open an image tag and in the URL you will write it because it should be a URL also it must have an image URL filter to this one so if you save it for now it should be image URL so it should take the image URL also you can pass the size of that three here called master I will just display the original size for now and let's see how it is going to work now if I come to my code if you are making any mistake this shouldn't let you upload if I come to my code and refresh the page let's see how it is going to display the image for us it is not displaying the image because we did not write the filter properly as you can see the mobile menu is also working so let's debug it I will bring the console here down and this is our navbar inside the A we have the brand and it shows the image URL here but the filter that we wrote here is wrong image URL is not exist here so let's see what is wrong with this URL if you ever find any of these filters that you don't know about this one just check out the cheat sheet at Shopify website something like go to shopify.com.au for me partner such cheat sheet for Shopify in here you can search all of those filters so you can search image or IMG underscore URL this is the asset URL you have IMG URL I did it correct in the first part but I made a mistake so it should be IMG URL now it should work just fine and the reason you put master is this is the size you can say 300 x 300 it will show 300 by 300 but for now I will just say master as you can see in the setting you have this custom logo size also we will apply that one later for now if I refresh my page let's see if it make the logo appear here it make the logo appear but it is too big that's why you can come to the booster website and check out how they display the logo here the reason I show you the documentation is you can see the real okay it should not be breakpoint it should be navbar I know how they displayed how you add the image to the navbar and as I said if I am going to show you how they work is so in future you can add it this is how you do this one you have to add the class of navbar brand to the A which they already have it also your image must have the size that you have to provide that way it will display the proper things to this one also you can have SVG icons since for them it is SVG you can align them like that so for them that's that's how you do this one for us since we have the setting in the header this is the setting we can provide let's say 100 pixel or whatever this should be the width of our icon so how you can access this one using the ID if I scroll down what is the ID of that one this is the ID logo max width I can copy this one and I can bring it to the width of this one and it should be the same way as we display the URL section dot settings dot max logo URL it will display the co the logo URL here the value of it the max logo size plus pixel so just write pixel outside this one if you save it for now and also I will save the header to make sure we didn't change anything did see yes it did upload successfully now if I come to my website and refresh it this time it should make it smaller because it will add another height to this one if I scroll up this is the height of it also I will refresh it here this time we can change it 
in the team setting so you can display how it is going to display the number and there are some other options also you can add more options for now we do not have any so you can bring it down to 50 this is the the least value so if i come to the range slider here this is the minimum is 50 of course that is not what we want the minimum should be 20 the max should be let's say 400 it is too much 200 thousand is fine for the logo and this step is 10 the step should be 2 because 2 step like it will uh, jump from 2 pixel to 4 pixel to 6 pixel and 8 pixel that is the jump and this is the unit there is no usage for it but it shows the unit pixel if you are increasing it and this is going to be the label for it the default should be okay whatever the default you can set it here if you save it for now it should give us more range let's say you can have it less than 50 if i refresh my page now i should have access to the list 50 value and if i check the header now now it is 50 it didn't come down it has an error here the max value must be between min and max okay there is an issue we have an invalid id default must be between them yeah we said max is 200 but the default is okay this is wrong the default should be 100 so if i save it for now it should successfully upload it to the server sometimes it is taking a little while because of the internet and the speed of your computer so i don't think my computer is slow but it is windows it is a little hard for it to run some comments okay this time if i check out this is 50 and i can bring it to 20 which looks too small maybe 30 should be fine or 32 that is what we want the logo looks nice and this is how you can add more options in this and the next video i will show you how you can add a sections with a slider here currently we do not have a section called a slider we don't have it here we will add it in the next video you can add a slider here thank you for watching i hope it has been informative i will see you in the next video i will not add most of the feature as i said like some of these i will add and some of them i will work behind the scene the reason is because i don't want to tell everything in the video and the video gets too lengthy because most of the things are easy and you can do it i just show you the hard part the easy stuff you have to do it yourself that's it see you in the next video